Fair do. Just going to try and keep this one as short as I can for you all. Now, this is just some of the things that are going on since I wasn't at the game in Salford, stuff like that. I didn't really have anything else to do. At the moment, there's not a lot going on, especially with the coronavirus and everything else. And the world of sports is slowly closing down one by one. Don't know what's going on. Now, my view is, yeah, I understand why they want to close it down. I do understand why they would want to suspend the league and everything like that. But personally, I, I don't want them to, but I understand if they do decide to, because it would... It's too big, too big a risk for people, stuff like that. But there's a lot of risks involved with this anyway because it's spreading just like a cold. So there's not a lot that we can do about it. One person gets it, everyone around you gets it. That's the way cold virus is spread. And this one is basically pretty much in the same vein of that. It's just a bit more effective in certain ways of getting to you and annoying you. I say take a swig of beer. Hey, never mind. Now, as for some of the other stuff, all right, I'm not going to get too into the mess that was the Salford game. As far as I'm concerned, from what I was listening to on the radio, it was an absolute shit show at times. It did turn into a bit of a shit show. Our mistakes cost us the game. We let Salford into it, and once they got the ball, they grew. All we had to do was just smash them in the mouth. Proper smash mouth football. We just didn't do it. We didn't close them down. We were the ones that got gassed at the end. We could have gone four points clear. Luckily, in a way, Tigers gave us a bit of a help there by beating Saints. But we shouldn't have to rely on other teams beating other teams to give us a reprieve against some of our big rivals. We shouldn't. We should be the ones putting it out of sight. Now, I'm not going to dissect it too much because that'll take forever and I'll turn into a rant show. And I don't want to turn into the rugby equivalent of to the ranting griffin. Yeah, I'm a furry. So some of you may, may already know about some of the antics of two. Hey, there is that. But I'm not going to go into that either. All I can say is when I got into the furry fandom, to the ranting griffin was one of them biggest personalities out there he's still a big personality but he's just quiet now he's a little more subdued and a little more quiet mainly because a lot of cons have cut him off that's all i'm going to say about that boring a line from two now as for some of the other stuff i might have been a little bit wrong with my predictions or from what i was hearing about some of the international sides that were coming into it now yeah new york that one was right. Ottawa, I didn't hear anything about Ottawa getting in. For me, it was Edmonton. That's what I heard that it was Edmonton. But Ottawa getting in, that's brilliant. But that's three. It's going to be three teams on the transatlantic side. We need a fourth. Now, is that going to be Edmonton? Is that going to be, like, let's say, just going to throw this out, Ohio? Or Detroit, no, Michigan State, say. So is it going to be like a, a team from kind of like an Ohio, from Ohio State? Is it going to be someone from Michigan State? Which mainly most people know Michigan as Detroit. There is more to Michigan than Detroit, but Detroit is the vast amount of that. Old Motor City, come on. Good old bit of Motown. You can't miss Motown. Music, right? And love some of the things that come out of it because it's really smooth and easy listening but some of it can be quite brash in your face but it worked with the times and it's still classic music now i don't want to go off on another tangent like i did on the other one about the trains so we'll try and keep that one away as well now with that yeah i love the idea especially with the challenge cup draw being in new york as well that is going to be pretty cool as well because it's going to Give it a bit of glitz, a bit of glam, a bit of razzmatazz, especially the, the American way. The only thing I can see, though, is because of what's going on with all this coronavirus stuff, and there being a meeting on tomorrow, which is Monday, the day of the draw, 
how is also that going to go as well because that is where the league decisions will be made whether they suspend stop or carry on now today's games went went on without a hitch there was one or two little things mainly because Leeds didn't travel over to uh, Catalan because one of their either one of their team members or one of the players or one of the staff had tested positive for corona or possible corona now that is a shame that that one didn't happen because it means that other teams are now again more games behind i understand with toronto being a little bit behind with them because all right yeah they were in the challenge cup so they got a win for once so toronto are off the board this season win wise especially in the cup now they need to put that win and that form onto the league and start showing us what's going on in the league. Now from the scores that I've seen, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I know some clubs were doing good, especially around because a lot of it is like the championship level and the lower league is the next league down. So second and third tier, that's, that's where it is. And some of the Super League teams and some of the lower seeded Super League teams entered in at the last round. Next round, I believe... All teams are in. That's why it's going to be the big draw. That's why it's in New York. New York being a team that's going to be in. And I'm not 100% sure where they're going to be in that. Whether they are going to push more NRL or whether they're going to come on our side, on the Super League side, or at least within the British system. Which some people say is the European system because we've got like players, teams like Catalan and Toulouse. So we do have other teams in there. But it's starting to bubble a bit. Is it going to become this massive league where we've got more international scope around it as well? And as you can see behind me, let's give you a little inside scope on that. I'm not going to be able to zoom in because this is the forward face. But that's one idea that I've got going on at the moment. Is I might, instead of going full gothic in here, I might go for a bit of graffiti brick wall because it fits in with some of the industrial look that I'm after as well with some of the furniture that I'm trying to get in here. It is a small room, so sometimes gothic colours might make it look a little bit dark. So I don't want it to be too dark. I don't want it to be too dingy neither. Oh yeah, um, another nerdy moment. If anyone remembers Red Dwarf and the London Jets Zero G football team, there's the shirt. Yeah. Just another bit of nerdy, nerdy play for everyone. Some of the other views as well that I've got as well. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause you a second, but I'm just going to grab something and then I will come back to you. First things first. Rainbow cuffs. If the game does go ahead, yes, I do have my rainbow cuffs. And as I said in one of the other videos, there would be a trans flag. Now, it's quite large, but it is big enough to fit around the back of me and turn that into a nice old cape. Clear up the eyelets there so I can easily just put a bit of shoelace through it. Bish bash bosh, done. So that'll work nicely. Right. As with some of the other stuff I don't really know, even this, this format, I don't really know because I can't always keep up with the two uploads a week. I might go one a week when I'm not at a game and then two a week when I'm doing that because I'm going to try and see if I can bubble over some news things like that because of what's going on with the corona stuff and all the stuff that's going on with work it's a little bit flushed and a little bit hurried a lot of the time because i could be recording something and a new snap of information could just snap up out of nowhere and i don't know what's going on because i might be a bit too late with it but i'll try as much as i can to get uploads going i'll try to keep a steady upload still need a suggestion for the name for this stuff because i don't know whether i'm going to turn it into just random rambling rugby news Random Rugby News, Ramble Rugby News, Scrum News. Egg. There was even a suggestion from one of my friends who just said, why don't you call it the Scrambled Egg? Since rugby, rugby is known as egg chasing, so why don't I just call it the Scrambled Egg? I don't know. Hey, I don't really know with that. I'm still a little bit confused. So at the moment, this is still just going to be just a random moment of news. But as for the rest, I don't know. I'm still working on the assumption that I might possibly be able to get to the Wigan Saints game at Saints on Good Friday. 
which by the way is the day before my birthday so it would be one heck of an excursion for that and that would be uh, an early well an early birthday present for me if it all goes ahead especially with what's going on as well with all of the other stuff now if the catalan game is going ahead i definitely will be there with all the stuff with the flag and you guys in tow on camera and as always i will always be having a beer yes and guinness beer of choice I don't know why I just like Guinness for some weird reason. Some people have always asked why I like Guinness, and I do. By the way, yes, my hair is tied back at the moment because it was annoying me constantly. Just went fluff, fluff, fluff at the height. So I've done that. Anyone else has got any suggestions? What else I could cover? As well, put it down in the put it down in the comms below because I always read the comms as you guys notice. I will reply to as many of you as possible because I've not just got PC, but I've also got my phone as well. I do have a tab sometimes, but this account is not connected to that tab. That's just for alternate viewing, mainly because when I'm out and about, I don't always want every device connected to this. But my cell is always connected to you. And as for my edits, my edits might not be as good because I have had to go back one step. I'm now going to be using the spare computer, which is the secondary computer within the house for a while. Because the other one, yeah, the hard drive is broke. I have bought an SSD, so I'm waiting for the SSD to come. And then that will be up upgraded as well, along with some of the cables that will go with it. Just so everything is going to be just a little bit sweeter. So it's going to just be a little bit sweeter. Hey, if you guys have got any other suggestions for anything else, always stick it below. Any names, especially for this news segment, I don't know what I might call it. I might just stick just a placeholder in there for now and then change it out once i know what the name is going to be there will be then a title card for this as you also may notice as well at the end i've started going a bit more pro as well with joining up to other two other videos as well as having a subscribe point and as for the rest i bid you adieu